Hello, Internet! So nice to see you! Sometimes you can take simple ideas on your guitar and play them in a simple way. And sometimes you can take simple ideas, simple elements, and combine them to create something that is complex or even ridiculously complex. Today I'm going to show you how to take a simple idea and make it complex. Usually I do the opposite. Usually I take complex ideas and make them simple, but let's try to go in the opposite direction today because it's fun and because it gives you a lot of freedom to create your own sounds. Some of the leaks that I'm gonna create by combining those ideas are gonna be so complex and unpredictable that I'm going to sight read them on the spot. So forgive me if I'm not playing them super fast. I'm human like everybody else. But hey, if you follow along with what I'm doing right now, you're gonna be able to, to take some simple ideas and make them sound much more complex. And you can decide exactly how complex. You can dial in the complexity of your leaks. What follows right now, it's a fragment of an online masterclass I gave to some of my students. Have fun and here we go. That's not the last train, but it's close to the last train, okay? Don't miss the train. I told you by the end it's gonna get ridiculous, no? I told you at the beginning. So now we're gonna get ridiculous, okay? We can use more than one approach note. And again, this sounds like, yeah, of course we can. Of course we can use more than one approach note, but does it sound good? It sounds great, actually. Multiple approach notes. Now, there are several ways to use multiple approach notes. Several. So I'm going to show you three examples. Only three examples, but please follow them because every example contains a lot of possibilities. So one idea is to use two or more approach notes on the same note of the triad. So right now I have the approach note on the first note of the triad. I'm, I'm playing a diatonic approach note from above, followed by a chromatic approach note from below. Okay? It sounds mental when I say it. It sounds good though. Okay? So essentially, on the G, I'm playing the approach note from above, then below, chromatic, and then I keep going with all the triads. Again, I'm swinging it because this sounds jazzy to me, okay? So, it's a jazz approach, yes. This is actually one of the first examples I've learned from the sax player from when I learned this, okay? But does it have to be the first note on the triad? No, no, of course not. But if I start doing all those variations here, we really don't end anymore, right? <laughs> okay. So no, it doesn't have to be the first note on the triad. It could be the second note or the third note of the triad. You can go up and down. You can play only two notes per triad. You can change the order of the notes in every triad. You can do whatever you want. You start to see how many combinations there are right now. It's scary. Okay. But... I can use multiple approach notes in a different way, meaning I can put more than one approach notes on different notes of the triad, okay? Here, on the G triads, I'm playing an approach note, chromatic from below, on the first and the third note. And on the F triads, I'm playing a chromatic approach note from below on the second note of the triad, okay? I'm pretty sure the engineers and the programmers among you are like, yeah, that's easy. And everybody else is like, what did he say? <laughs> okay. So, on notes 1 and 3 of G, I'm playing a chromatic approach note from below. And on notes 2 of F, I'm playing a chromatic approach note from below. To be fair, in this case, I will never play the whole thing through. To be fair, I will play the I will play sections of this. So for instance, I will just play these. Okay. 
that would be more of a phrase, okay? This is a, it's a part from the middle section, from the middle section of this uh, thing. The whole thing together, it's an exercise. When you make real music with that, you just played one triad or two with that, not all the, the six positions. Multiple approach notes from above. So, what I'm doing is, I am playing a diatonic approach note from above. But every time the diatonic note is two frets away, I'm also playing the chromatic approach note from above. This happens most of the time, except for the G here, for the, for the, for the second position of G, when the uh, approach note from above is already chromatic. This sounds this way. <laughs> Again, probably jazzy with those chords. But if you were using other arpeggios, like the one taken from Dorian Sharp Fort, for instance, or from the harmonic minor, it would not sound as jazzy as it sounds right now. Those are examples, guys. And you can combine all of them. I split them in different sections so that we could train them. And so you guys could have an idea and learn one concert at a time. But then you can combine them. The sky's the limit. Right now I'm playing everything with zero phrasing and with straight timing. You can put any phrase, you can slide the approach note into the into the triad note, or you can pull off, or you can add any any band or anything on any of those notes. So go wild. See what kind of sound you like. As usual, my recommendation is to take those examples and make them yours. Use the combination of triads you like. Use the rhythms you like. Play them in the styles you like. All those ideas can be applied to literally any styles if you use the right combination of triads. Make them your own. And you're gonna see soon that the hard part about doing all these is to find where triads are on your fretboard and recall them in real time so that you can actually improvise with those ideas and not just write a lick. If you're not able to find triads in real time on your fretboard, then I can help you. And to do that, I recommend you have a look at my course, Complete Chord Mastery. Complete Chord Mastery, it's not a book. It's a complete video course that takes you from the basics up. We do everything you need to know about harmony and chords on your guitar. All the theory is done straight on the fretboard. There is no theory for the sake of theory here. Everything is immediately practical and everything is developed through exercises so you know how to apply these immediately on your guitar. If you have just a minute, click on the link on the top right to check out Complete Chord Mastery. If you like this video, smash on that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any comment, feedback, suggestions, write them down in the comment, I enjoy reading from you and I make videos on your suggestions. This is Tommaso Zilia of musictheoryforguitar.com and until next time, enjoy!